in this video we are going to study conical pendulum here you can see a tiny mass called bob connected to a long flexible massless inextensible string and suspended to a rigid support is called as simple pendulum and conical pendulum is a simple pendulum which is given such a motion that the bob describes a horizontal circle and the string describes cone in the space this is called as conical pendulum in this animation of conical pendulum we can see a bob is moving in horizontal circle and the string attached to the bob describes cone in the space number of forces acting on the bob are its weight w acting vertically downwards and tension t along the string now we will derive equation for time period of a conical pendulum as we can see in this diagram we have consider a bob p of mass m attached to a string revolving along a horizontal circle in anti clockwise sense of say radius r with linear speed v let theta is the semi vertical angle of cone l is the length of the pendulum capital l is the length of the pendulum as we have already discussed r it is the radius of the horizontal circle v is the linear speed of the bob and h is the actual height of the cone now in this conical pendulum when this bob is moving in this horizontal circle the number of forces acting on the bob are number 1 its weight mg which is acting vertically downward and tension t which is along the string this tension t in the string can be resolved into two components vertical component t cos theta and horizontal component t sin theta now here we can clearly see the vertical component t cos theta its balances weight mg therefore we can write this t cos theta is equal to mg and the component t sin theta as we can see here it is directed along the radius towards the center of the circular path so the required centripetal force for the circular motion which is performed by this bob is provided by the component t sin theta therefore we can write t sin theta is equal to m v square upon r let this equation as equation number 1 and this equation as equation number 2 now we are going to dividing equation 2 by equation 1 therefore we can write t sin theta upon t cos theta is equal to m v square upon r divided by mg so this t will get cancelled with this t sin theta upon cos theta we can write it as tan theta this m will get cancelled with this m and here we can add this is nothing but v square upon rg therefore v square is equal to rg tan theta taking square root we are going to get v is equal to under root rg tan theta this is the equation for linear speed of a bob which is performing circular motion in horizontal plane but we know the relation between linear speed and angular speed that is v is equal to r omega so we can substitute the value of v is equal to r omega in this equation and we can write this is r omega is equal to under root rg tan theta squaring on both sides we can write r square omega square is equal to rg tan theta therefore we can write omega is equal to under root g tan theta upon r but from figure we can see r which is the radius of this circular path it is the opposite side of the semi vertical angle theta so if you are writing but sin theta is equal to r by l sin theta is equal to opposite side that is r divided by l which is the length of the pendulum therefore from this we can write 
R is equal to L sin theta. So this value of R we can substitute in this equation. Therefore we can write omega is equal to under root G tan theta upon for this R we can write L sin theta. So they, that is nothing but L sin theta. In this equation for this tan we can write sin upon cos. Therefore omega is equal to under root g for this tan we can write sin theta upon cos theta whole divided by l sin theta this sin theta will get cancelled with this sin theta and therefore we are going to get omega is equal to under root g upon l cos theta but from figure we can see if we are taking cos theta then adjacent side that is nothing but h upon hypotenuse which is nothing but length of the pendulum so we can write cos theta is equal to h by l therefore we can write h is equal to l cos theta so in place of in this equation of l cos theta we can substitute h so therefore we can write omega is equal to under root g upon h this equation gives us the angular speed of the bob in this circular motion in conical pendulum but we know that this omega is nothing but we can write it as 2 pi by t so therefore we can substitute the value in this equation and we can write this is nothing but 2 pi by t is equal to the same equation will continue with so we can write this is under root g upon l cos theta what we have done we have substituted the value of omega is equal to 2 pi by t in this same equation so here we can see this is 2 pi by t is equal to under root g upon l cos theta what we want to find out we want to find out equation for time period of a conical pendulum so by rearranging the term we are going to get t is equal to 2 pi under root l cos theta upon g so this equation gives us time period of a conical pendulum that is nothing but the time taken by this bob to complete one circular motion in horizontal circle from this equation we can also find the frequency of revolution that is nothing but frequency n is equal to 1 upon t just we need to take a reciprocal of this equation so we can write this is nothing but 1 upon 2 pi under root g upon l cos theta so this is the equation for the frequency of revolution